actually Planet Money did a podcast on today and the population more generally is beginning to become aware of this, but we are in a very critical time in our history with phosphorus. As a matter of fact, I'm one of those people who believes we have already hit what's called peak phosphorus, which means we are now past the point of having supplies that we would identify that are upward in terms of our knowledge of them to where now we've gone over the peak and we are going down and we're using up phosphorus to where we can predict at its current use when it'll be gone. And probably the most liberal estimates say in a hundred years. So big deal. It is a big deal because plants have to get phosphorus from the soil. There's no other source of it. It comes from the soil and then it goes through this whole cycle and it's not often reusable because in most cases, it'll run off down streams. It ends up in the sediments of lakes and the oceans. And in the oceans, which are in places 34,000 feet, seven miles deep, it's, we've never, we've, we've hardly ever been there with even something to take photographs of them, let alone think about how we would mine and get a really small amount of phosphorus out of sediment because it's spread out over such a great distance. And we have never found a source of phosphorus below the crust of the earth, right on the earth's surface. You can't subsurface mine for phosphorus, it's just not present. And then lastly, scientists have not figured out any kind of a substitution for phosphorus that can serve for, for organisms in their growth. And it's probably the most critical resource right now. And one of the reasons we've got to change the way that we, that we handle all of our farming practices and number of things, because phosphorus is going to become depleted. 